This review is of Organic Que Pasa uh, Liberty Tortilla Chips, ground with volcanic stones. It is uh, non-GMO, USDA organic, certified gluten-free. It is certified organic by QAI. Um, it is also vegan, kosher, whole grains. A lot of stuff is hiding on the edge there. And here's an here's an instructions for making uh, roasted red pepper dip, and another one for roasted white onion salsa. So you can make your own stuff because it's easy, tastes better than that crap they sell, sell at the store, and that stuff that that some stores make in their deli. It's a lot less expensive than that. Like I got a small thing of uh, salsa, black bean salsa from Jungle Gyms. It was three and a half bucks for a small container that wouldn't have even filled one can uh, for black beans. And it was just really ridiculously overpriced. I could have made a huge batch for that cost. But I wanted to try it. And it was at least nice tasting. Oh, and here's a message from Cesar Chavez. I don't personally agree with it. They don't necessarily give you their heart, but eh, whatever. And here's the blurb. And there are the nutrition facts and ingredients. And they also have a guarantee. All right, so do keep in mind that uh, one portion is 16 chips which has 150 calories, seven grams of fat, of which half a gram is uh, saturated, no cholesterol, 75 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of carbs, two grams of dietary fiber, so that's okay. One gram of sugar, no added, and two grams of protein. Um, and happily, there is no, nothing in here that's really bad for you. So pretty. So we got off white. It, mu it must be the Betsy Ross flag. It's it's faded. And red and blue. And I assume that they're just you know colored. It claims that there's sea salt and a trace of lime. I don't taste any lime. I think they didn't put enough lime in there. Hmm. So, I like the flavor, it's nice. It's not like typical um, tortilla chips. So it's not like, it's not a strong corn flavor like some brands. It's pretty mild flavor. Um, a little bit on the sweet side for some reason, which I was, you know, I can't ascribe that all to the one gram of sugar. It's gotta be a combination of the corn and the red beet powder um, and maltodextrin. So, um, yeah, but it's nice. I'll give these an eight. Um, and hey, you know, they're perfect for the 4th of July. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.